to these sparkling gemstones, but will they fall off? In this top five in five minutes video, I will share how to apply sealer to your diamond paintings in five steps. I'm Kathleen Erla Johnson of Creative Solace Studios. Also a quick shout out and thank you to my friend of 40 years, Suzanne Oliver, who sent me some birthday lipstick courtesy of Mary Kay. I'll put some information about her in the description of this video and also in the end credits. Step number one to seal your diamond painting is first to complete the project and place all the diamonds where they go. Step number two is to look and see before you put the sealer on if there's any places where the diamonds have fallen off or are missing. So I am going to find packet number two and get the correct color that was missing from that spot. I could use the applicator tool, but I'm just using my fingers for this. Step number three is to use a diamond painting sealer and to read the instructions on it. I'm giving it a little shake and then we'll be squeezing it out of the sponge part of the applicator. So I'm now squeezing and part of it's coming out. And the last step is to apply this everywhere, taking that little one that was missing and going to pop it back onto its correct spot. It can be a little tricky to see where the glaze has already covered and how thick it is. So I kind of try to look at it from different angles to make sure I've got a uniform application on it. And I see another one missing right here. So I'm going to find that one as well. After looking the project over from all angles, the next step, the last step, is to let it dry for the amount of time that it says on the bottle. Once it's dry, you can always run your hand over it and see if you missed any spots and then do a quick touch up. But that's all there is to it to seal your diamond painting and keep those beautiful gemstones on there. When dry, the sealer is a clear, shiny, protective coating over your diamond art. An additional tip, if you happen to squeeze out too much of it as you're applying it and it runs over the edge, carefully pick up your project and put it onto a new drying paper so it doesn't get too messy and stick to the paper that's underneath it. Please subscribe to Creative Solace Studios for more art, wellness, and intentional living videos.